swimming the 100 breaststroke. He's got to get out of this race. If he wins, go to the podium. And then he's got to go try and warm down. He's only going to have about 10 to 15 minutes. But if he, went, if he gets to the podium, he can send one of his brothers up, and no one would know the difference. <laughs> That's a good point. I wonder if anyone thought that from those three. Maybe, maybe not, but we'll see. Look how far underwater these guys go. Jay Litherland, the last to surface. It's faster water underwater than it is on top of the water. And again, these guys will stay underwater for almost a halfway through the water, through, through the pool, driving their shoulders, rotating nice and high, keeping the head as still as possible. Litherland was at 24.54 in prelims at the 50-yard mark. He's 23.45. Oh, and by the way, that's on pace if you want to go a state record. He's going to have to have a great second 50, but he could do it. Really need to be in the 22-9 range if you're going to pull it off. And then coming into a finish with a good body length lead is Lidlin in second place, Patrick Kusick. And in, late, in third place, Mark Keveny from Walton. Yeah, that 48-38 uh, actually would have been a new state record. If, if Peter Marshall still owned the state record. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy to think that 14 years after he set the record, his record would have fallen twice had we swum it in a different order, basically, had Litherland, had Jay Litherland swum first and then Ethan Young swum second. Uh, we would have seen it broken twice. We would have lost our minds because that was one of the fastest and oldest records in state history. So a huge win for Jay Litherland. Patrick Cusick's 